Hello students. So now we are going to discuss the anomalous G man effect. Before going in details of the discussion, I would like to suggest you that you go towards the previous videos to see the what is G man effect and what is the normal G man effect because the effect is more or less similar only few things are different. The first thing is that for weak field rather than splitting into three lines the spectral line splits into more than three lines that is called anomalous G man effect and the condition is delta mg is equal to 0 plus minus 1 for the selection rules. In the normal G man effect it was delta ml is equal to 0 plus minus 1. So in this case this formula is very important. This is very similar to the normal G man effect. In that case, the torque was occurring due to the uh, orbital dipole moment mu L. In the present case, the torque is applied due to the dipole moment mu J. And uh, that torque is applied due to the cross product of magnetic field as well as the mu J according to this formula. So, this is the formula to calculate the frequency. So here we are going to discuss very important uh, spectral lines. Those are called sodium D lines. We have two lines for sodium B1 for 5, 8, 9, 6 angstrom and D2 for 5, 8, 9, 0 angstrom. So now, first D1 line is represented by the transition of 2P half to 2S half and D2 line is represented due to the transition of 2P3 by 2 to 2S half. Let us see how these term values are formed. We will start from the atomic number of sodium which is 11 and the electronic configuration is 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3s1. If you want to learn how the electronic structure is formed, we have formed a very detailed video lecture part 1 and part 2. You can go on videos and learn how to form the electronic structure there. So we will consider only the optical electron that is the outermost electron. From this electron it is clear that we have s1 state. First we will find out the term value of this S1 state. Obviously for S state we have L is equal to 0. S is half. This half comes from this one electron and using these two values we can find out the value of J using the formula L plus minus S that is half. So, according to the formula 2s plus 1 Lj term value for single electron, so using this formula, we can find out the term value is equal to 2s half. So, this is the ground state where the electron is de excited. If this electron is excited to higher state, it may go to the p state and we can find out the term value for the p state. Let us suppose, suppose this electron goes to any of the p state, then the state becomes like this p1. In this situation, we have L is equal to 1, S is half, and J is obviously 3 by 2, 1 by 2. You can learn how to calculate these values from our previous lectures. And using these two values, we can find out the term value that is equal to 2p 3 by 2, 2p 1 by 2. So you can see here I have already written the D1 lines occur due to the transition of 2p half to 2s half and D2 lines occur due to the transition of 2p 3 by 2 to 2s 1 by 2. So, let us apply the selection rule delta mj is equal to 
0 plus minus 1 to find out the transitions here. So let us calculate the transitions using the anomalous g map effect. If there is no magnetic field applied, only one line is occurring. If the magnetic field is applied, we will use these selection rules to find out the transition lines. For first line, we have delta mj is equal to plus 1. For that, if the atom B excites from half state to minus half state, then delta mj will be equal to plus 1. Now, for delta mj is equal to 0, we have to consider simply plus half to plus half and minus half to minus half. And for delta mj is equal to minus 1, we have this state minus half to plus half. Obviously, minus half to plus half delta mj is equal to minus 1. So for this transition, delta mj is plus 1. For these two transitions, we have delta mj is equal to 0. For this transition, we have delta mj is equal to minus 1. Now, we will switch to the second transition, D2 transition, 2P3 by 2, 2, 2S half. Again, we will apply these selection rules. Delta mj is equal to 0 plus minus 1. First, we will apply delta mj is equal to plus 1. Then delta mj is equal to 0. And then delta mj is equal to minus 1. For delta mj is equal to plus 1, first state comes out to be 3 by 2, 2 plus 1 by 2. 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 plus 1. The second one is plus 1 by 2, 2 minus 1 by 2. Plus 1 by 2, 2 minus 1 by 2. Now, for delta mj is equal to 0, it is simple. Plus half to plus half minus half to minus half. For delta mj is equal to minus 1, we have minus half to plus half minus half to plus half and minus 3 by 2 to minus 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2 to minus 1 by 2 let me explain again these two transitions belong to delta mj is equal to plus 1, these two, delta mj is equal to 0, and these two, delta mj is equal to minus 1. So, if you want to calculate the frequency, you will have to put these values in this derivation, in this expression, you will find out the value, different values of frequency. Let us suppose you want to find out the frequency for this transition. This transition occurs from plus 3 by 2 to plus 1 by 2. Plus 3 by 2 to plus 1 by 2. What will you do? You will find out the gj corresponding to this and j is equal to 3 by 2 and then gj corresponding to gj corresponding to this mj is equal to 1 by 2 using this formula. Okay, this will be very simple and by multiplying these two values you can find out the corresponding frequency for each line.